before I proceed with our lesson for today, uh, I'd like to just make a correction on a video that I did or just the calculations for a video uh, in, that I shared with you um, last year. And the title of that video is um, How to Record Entries in the Books of Accounts Part 1. So um, the only correction that I want to make is just for the cash receipts books. And uh, thank you for the comment of one of the, uh, I, I don't know if it's one of the subs subscribers, kaya i-correct ko, ko lang yung, uh, yung totals and yung mga entries. Um, it's because of the effort that I, I did just to present a, a journal-like um, format. Siyempre, ginawa ko yan in Excel. So, I made it appear like a journal. And I deleted some entries then, some rows. So, I failed to check on the totals. So, I'm going to post here the corrected entries. Oh, so, siyempre, in Excel na to. So, medyo tama na yung mga calculations dyan. So, as I mentioned there, debits should be equal to credits. So, pag ito na yung entry nyo, so magtototal na yung debits and credits dyan. So, ano dyan na rin, nilagay ko na yung total debits na equal na siya sa total credits. So, that should be true in all your journals. Siyempre, mano-mano ang gagawin nyo pag nagre-record kayo sa inyong journal. So, you just make sure na yung totals nyo ay tama. And a way to check then is yung debits nyo dapat mag-equal sa credits. Okay. Sit na tayo sa ating topic ngayon. So, this time I would be teaching you how to fill out EBIR forms. And the form that we're going to, that I'm going to show you is how to fill out the 2551Q na, na form. So, meron na tayong create ngayon na law. The, the new law that is um, passed and approved last March 26. So, ang form natin ngayon, ipapakita ko, ay 2551Q. Ang due date nito ay every uh, 25th of the month following the quarter. So, kung let's say first quarter natin ngayon ay ending March 31, 2021, ang due date nito ay April 25. 2021. So, make sure na you download the latest version of uh, EBIR forms. So, sa ngayon, uh, it's 7.9. So, later on, ma pwedeng magkaroon ng mga bagong releases. So, from time to time, check the website, bir.gov.ph and download the latest version of EBIR forms. Okay. So, first thing we do, Pagka magre-record na tayo, of course, you open the app, the, the EBIR forms. And then, kung na-record nyo na yung data na to, yung TIN and info ng inyong taxpayer, so pag na-fill out nyo yung TIN, mag-auto-fill yung the rest of the info like the address, the, the zip code, the phone number, and the email ad. Okay? And then, once naka-prefill na yan, pipiliin nyo ngayon yung ating form na ifa-file. So, naka-sequential naman yan according to number. So, go below and scroll down nyo. Makikita nyo ngayon yung BIR form 2551Q. Before, may monthly yan. So, nung nagkaroon na tayo ng train, naging quarterly na yan. Make sure you click version 2018. Okay. So, yan, yan, yan na yung update, updated form. And then, click fill up. Okay? So, kung may lumabas na ibang window, just click OK. And, dadalhin tayo niyan sa, sa form na ating if you fill up. And then, for the fiscal, uh, kung fiscal year kayo, click fiscal year. So, since very common si calendar year, so, mag-auto- fill yan ng December uh, 2021 yung current year natin. Okay? So, kung fiscal yan, you have to um, you have to choose kung anong buwan yung end of your fiscal year. Then, click the quarter, if it's first quarter and then you go to uh, 
page 2 na. Okay? Click next and then you go to page 2. So, dati, ang ating code na pinipili, yung PT010. So, pag tinignan nyo yan, yan yung 3%. Pero hindi na yan yung bagong rate ngayon. Because of the create law, uh, ang ating gagamitin na is the same code, PT010, nasa huli. And makikita nyo dyan, 1% na yung rate. Okay, then balik kayo sa... Okay, so I'm just going to show you na yung mga info kailangan nyo i-fill up kung pipiliin nyo graduated or kung 8% kayo. Pag 8% kayo, wala na kayong babayaran na percentage tax. Ando na kasi siya sa 8%. Pero kung pinili nyo graduated, then you have to file for this one. Okay, page 2, pag pinili nyo na yung 1%, ilalagay nyo under taxable amount kung magkano yung receipts nyo for the quarter, starting January 1 to, to March, total nyo lang kung OR yan, total nyo lahat ng OR, yan, kung invoice naman, total nyo rin lahat. And then, mag-auto-calculate naman si percentage tax ng 1%. So, one, 100,000, so yan, you have 1,000. And then, of course, you have to validate. Okay, so validate, makikita nyo kung ano yung mga hindi nyo na-fill out. Kung may kulang kayo, sinasabi doon. So, yung mga required um, info na kailangan nyo i-provide, kailangan na, na type nyo or na-click nyo kung mayroon kayo kailangan i-click, sasabihin nyo when you validate. Okay? So, pag nag-validate na kayo, it would say, hintay natin, ayan, it would say, validation successful. After that, so, ibig sabihin, you have filled out every necessary info and then pwede nyo na siyang isubmit sa, ano, online. Okay? You need internet connection for that. So, susundan nyo lang, submit, and then okay, okay. So, pag na-file nyo na yan, lalabas sa main screen yung, yung date when you filed it, papasok na siya dyan. Okay? And then, may timestamp din kung, kung kailan nyo siya submit. So, and then after that, magkakaroon niya ng email confirmation. So, yung email na nilagay nyo dun sa main screen, dun siya mag, ano, dun siya magsisend ng confirmation na nasubmit nyo siya online. Of course, the deadline, again, is the 25th. Okay. So, makikita nyo ngayon, kung gusto nyo buksan yun, yung, yung na-file nyo na, makikita nyo grayed out na si validate, si edit, si save, and the only thing you could do is print. So, pag pinrint nyo, then, yun lang ang, yun ang gagamitin nyo sa file nyo. Ilalagay nyo lang sa file nyo. And for your record. Keep all, keep the print out, and you may also uh, include printing out the, the confirmation. Or, you can just leave the confirmation sa email once needed. Ano. Or, you can you can save it as a PDF at ilagay nyo sa isang folder para pagka uh, kailangan nyo balikan, madali ring hanapin. Then, those things are up to you. Uh, next time, uh, I'm going to teach you other forms naman. Okay? So, doon naman tayo sa VAT. This is percentage tax. Uh, just remember na pag hindi kayo percentage tax, pwedeng VAT kayo or exempt kayo. Okay? So,